So in this question, AB is given to be parallel to CD. So this, these two lines are parallel and you have to find out the value of X. Now, if you uh, look at this picture or the diagram of, uh, you know, the lines here, it's very difficult. And actually there's no trans clear cut transversal here, isn't it? So hence, if this is not there, we have to do some construction. So hence, let's do one thing. What we are doing, going to do is we are going to draw a line parallel to a, B and C, D passing through E. Okay, so let's do that. So what I'm doing is I will be making a line parallel to A, B and C, D. You will ask why do I do that? Is this the only method? Not necessary. What you could have also done or you could have also done was you could have produced this and do all geometry and then figure out. But then... So you could have produced A to make it a transversal and make produce CD as well. This could also be uh, a possible way of solving it. But then what are we going to do? We are going to draw a transversal or oh, sorry, a line parallel to A, B and C, D passing through E. Why? Because now the angle X, which I have to be, which I have to find out is now sum of two angles. Which ones? So if you see this angle is let's say this angle is y and this angle is z okay so can i not say that x is equal to y plus z okay y plus z and now let's see what about y in so if you see uh, let me put a name here let's say this is f so angle uh, okay before that you have to mention that you have you have done a construction and the construction is what is the construction? Construction is construction is EF parallel to AB parallel to CD. Right? EF is pal EF is drawn. So you write EF parallel to AB and CD drawn. So therefore, angle EAB plus angle AEF will be equal to 180 degrees. Is it it? Why but? adjacent angles adjacent angles adjacent angles on a transversal on a transversal are supplementary we studied that isn't it so using this particular property we can say aab is plus aef is 180 or hence we can say 108 degrees which is eab plus y is 180 degrees so y clearly is 180 degrees minus 108 degrees, which is nothing but 72 degrees. Okay. Similarly, similarly, okay. What is it? Angle Z plus 112 degrees will be 180 degrees. Same, same, this reason, same reason, right? So hence Z is equal to 180 degrees minus 112 degrees which is nothing but 68 degrees 68 degrees so hence what is the final value of x x is y plus z which is 72 degrees plus 68 degrees hence it is 140 degrees so we found out the value of x why is this working x equals to y plus z we initially did this you know from here if you say this angle is y this angle is z so and this angle was x so x is y plus z we found out y and z we added them and we got 140 degrees that's the final answer okay so in such problems you know even you know let's say it was not very obvious what exactly to do and which what should be the approach like so we did some construction and the construction was we used the fact that ea could be transversal but ea was not transversal to ab and cd so hence we made a line ef parallel to ab so that ea becomes transversal to ab and ef and ec becomes a transversal to ef and cd and hence we could solve the problem